let's do this morning routine. Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On my channel, you'll find product reviews on skincare that I'm using. I usually go pretty in-depth into them. I go through the ingredients, what it's meant to do, as well as my experience with them. So please subscribe for all that skincare goodness. Also, while you're here already, please give me a thumbs up on this video. I'd really appreciate that. Last week, I reviewed The Ordinary's 100% Organic Cold Press Barrage Seed Oil. It's one of their lesser known oils. Uh, I'll leave it in the cards above, please check it out. Today's video will be a rundown of my 5 step morning skincare routine. A few of my friends have asked me what I do in the morning, so this is a video for them, as well as for any of you guys out there who is curious about what I do. When it comes to my morning skincare routine, I mainly focus on pigmentation and hydration. I do live in Australia, so over the years I have gotten some dark spots and pigmentation, because I was not that vigilant with using sunscreen back when I was in my early 20s and I'm trying to fix that now. The climate in Australia is particularly dry so to try and compensate for that I do use a lot of hydrating products uh, and that is also really good for my skin barrier like hyaluronic acid and ceramides. I just want to say that my skincare routine isn't set. I nearly always add new products every month because I do go through my skincare products fairly quickly. By the time this video is up, there would have already been changes to my skincare routine, but the overall theme of my routine is the same. My morning routine is focused on pigmentation and hydration. Now, on to my skincare routine. So, let's start off with my cleanser. I am currently using the Dr. Jatt Dermaclear Microfoam Cleanser. It is a fairly simple cleanser. I use it with my silicone brush to help clean my face. And it foams up very well. I got it as a sample when I bought the Dr. Jat sunscreen. I like using this cleanser because it doesn't leave me with that tight feeling after washing my face. For my toner, I am using the Sun & Park Beauty Water. The Beauty Water is really good at rebalancing your pH as well as being non-irritating. I use it with a cotton pad on the days that I have shaved and I use it as like a sort of second cleanse after I shave. For the days that I haven't shaved, I'll just add a few drops into my palms and I'll, I will just pat it into my face. So onto my first serum of the routine, it is the La Roche-Posay Halu B5. I use it because that is my hydrating product. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin B5, as well as metacasticide to help calm and soothe your skin. I added the Halu B5 because it has been very popular on YouTube. Leah Yu really recommends it. She has a great YouTube channel on skincare. I'll leave it in the description box below. Onto my eye cream, I do use a Japanese eye cream, it's by Sana. They are a fairly popular brand in Japan as well as Hong Kong. This eye cream has a vitamin E in it so it's very nourishing and very soothing and it's one of the only products I can really use around my eyes without it being too irritating. It is very moisturising, uh, I tend to get allergies around my eyes so they I have a bad habit of rubbing them and they tend to get a little bit dry and using this helps compensate it. Now onto serum number two, it is the Ordinary Ethylated Ascorbic Acid 15% Solution. I use this because it is a vitamin C and it's good for fading pigmentation and evening out my skin tone. I will use vitamin C during the day because it pairs up with sunscreens very well. So onto SPF, I am currently using two. The first one is the Dr. Jart Every Sunday Moisturizing Sunscreen. And the second one is the Venus Free Everyday Eco Friendly Sunblock. Depending on how my skin's feeling for the day, I would choose between the two. For days that my skin is a little bit drier, I will go with the Dr. Jart. For the other days where my skin is sensitive, I would go with the Venus Free one because the Venus Free has more physical filters in it. So it's less irritating on my skin.
You would have noticed that I don't use a moisturizer during the day. I find that using a moisturizer as well as sunscreen feels way too heavy on my skin and it makes my skin feel very oily and shiny. The sunscreens that I'm currently using are sufficient enough to act as a seal for all of my skincare products and without using a moisturizer I can use the sufficient and adequate amount of sunscreen. And that is it for my morning skincare routine. If you do have any questions about the routine or the products themselves, please leave it in the comments section below. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. And subscribe to my channel for more skincare related goodness. My next video will be my nighttime skincare routine, so please keep an eye out for that. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.